visiting today with the 2020 USRA Limited Modified Champion Tommy Davis Jr. Uh, Tommy also in contention this season for the Factory Stock Championship, finished second in the USRA Factory Stocks. Tommy, how's things going today? I was pretty busy this morning, but it's going good. Like we mentioned, you uh, you finished second in the factory stocks as well. Uh, came up just a bit short. It really came down to the final weekend. What's it like uh, not just fielding two cars on a regular basis, but also uh, going for championships in both of those divisions? What's it take to do that? Hey, you gotta have you gotta have not just a good driver, but you gotta have the guys I got, Robert Clark and Joseph Henson and all them boys. Like, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Looking at uh, some upcoming events, of course, RPM Speedway planning to get kicked off with the uh, the SmackDown, uh, King of the Ring, all those events. I know those are uh, events you traditionally compete in. So what are the uh, the plans coming up this week with the USRA Southern Thaw? Plan on winning. <laughs> plan on winning. The, <laughs> the simple, just yeah. plan on, go out and get her done. Um, Hello, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. 16 uh, wins this season, the limited mod uh, under the USRA banner, 13 in factory stock. I'm sure there's some some unsanctioned wins as well. So uh, about 30-ish wins this season. I know that uh, anybody would call that a good season, but by your standards, does that uh, that meet your goals and expectations that you had for 2020? Man, the way that, the, the way that stock car deal, I mean, the uh, factory stock deal started out, I never thought we'd be running for the Nationals, you know, at the end of the year. Cause I, we had a bad wreck there at the start and some bad luck. And it, it was it was a real good season. A lot better than I thought it was going to turn out. Talk about that. Uh, I know you won the championship with the limited mods, but talk about that Snoko Racing Fields USRA factory stock division. You've, you've competed in it for a while. Just talk about the progression of that class to where it is today. I mean, it's one of the most entertaining that we get to see when we're on the road in Texas. It's really stacked top, top to bottom full of talent. Yeah, that, that class is just so, so – everybody's so even, you know, equal, and it, it, it's hard to – like if you start six or seventh row, you know, you got your work cut out as you're going to get up there. It, it's real, it's real competitive class. It's harder to drive than that limited, I think. What, uh, what were some standout wins, standout nights for you in 2020? And every, every win's pretty standout, but the uh, – uh, no, I, I love all of them. <laughs> that uh, that final weekend there at that, uh, the Southern Nationals, you were able to to kind of go into that relaxed in the limited mods. You were kind of chasing in the factory stocks, but uh, pretty well had it locked up in the limited mods. So uh, I'm sure that was nice to just be able to go out and race in that division, not worry as much about points. Yeah, you can have a lot more fun when you're not worried, about, which I don't worry about it no more anyway. It's just <laughs> going to do what it's going to do. But I'm not going to lie, I was wanting Walter to have a bad night in that factory stock the last night. <laughs> You got the uh, the trophy there on the hood of the car. Talk a little bit about that race car. You're actually uh, uh, get planning on debuting a USRA modified sometime this season as well. So talk about your plans for 2021. What we're going to try to do is race this car right here. We're going to jump in the mod division and see if we can't give them boys a fit. But uh, we're going to mostly on Friday nights probably at the start, and then I'm going to race the I'm going to race the mod and the limited Fridays, and then the factory stock and the and the limited on uh, Saturdays, off and on. Be a, a busy 2021. You were able to get some laps in that car, some practice laps last season. Uh, how did how did that go? Were you fairly comfortable or still got uh, still got a little bit of a learning curve with the modifieds? Yeah, it, it felt good. It's just that the track was real rough that night. They had a lot of rain, and, you know, you couldn't really tell a whole lot. I, I like to go out there when it's kind of going to be your track and just like dry slick, you know. I ain't been on that yet, so. We, we need to get some more practice for sure. Well, we'll look forward to you racing all three divisions uh, coming up in 2021. Congratulations on the uh, 2020 USRA Limited Modified National Championship. Appreciate it. There, there'll be some nights I'll probably drive all three. <laughs> I'm getting old, but I think <laughs> All right, there you go. If you just hop back and forth from one to the other, you'll, uh, you won't be able to get tired. Yeah, yeah keep me in shape that way. <laughs> well, thank you for your time today. Thanks, guys. That is the 2020 USRA Limited Modified National Champion, Tommy Davis, Jr.